Welcome back to the Practice Sim Designer tutorial series. This is part 2 and we are talking about activations. If you have not seen the first video, I urge you to take a look at the first tutorial video that talks about the tool, introduce the user interface and the editing capabilities. One of the powerful features of Practice Sim Designer are active targets. So if you go over to the prop menu, you will see that a lot of these targets are things like swingers or uh, bobbers, uh, rise up targets, drop turners, clamshells, um, all kinds of targets and these are active. So that means you can activate these targets and you will uh, perform or act, react physically just like a normal swinger would. So for instance, if I drag this down to my shortcut bar, I'll show you how to work this with a swinger. Uh, I also want to grab some steel targets. So let me just grab a USB AC popper and then let's go try this. So let's say for instance, I want to put a uh, popper here that activates a target behind this wall that swings. So let's get rid of this and I drop the swinger here, maybe behind this barrel like that. And let's say I want to have the ability to allow people to hit the popper and starts this and it basically starts the swinger then there's this concept called activation so if you hit f2 on your keyboard if you look at the top left to change the mode to activation if you hit f3 on the keyboard it switches to activation mode so now it allows you to select a prop that is marked as an activator so certain props are available in the system as activators usually uh, doors, uh, steel targets, poppers, fall falling poppers, things like that. Those can be activators and there are also targets or props that are marked as activatable. That means things that can react to activators. So in this case, the popper, if I highlight it, it turns green, is an activator. And But if I highlight anything else, you, you see that nothing turns green because you, those are not marked as activators. So what you do is you click on the activator and then you will draw a line to a certain target. Now all you have to do is just point it at a target that is activated bull. <laughs> and so that will highlight for you when you when you see it as well. So now if I point it at a swinger, which is an activatable target, I can just point at it and I click it and that will establish a link between the popper and the swinger. And you can do this for multiple uh, targets as well. So let's say if I go back to editing mode, let me clone this and bring the swing over here. Maybe clone this and hide that target behind the barrel stack. And then go back to activation mode F3, select the steel and then select the swinger. And now that's uh, connected as well. Okay. And so what uh, that allows you to do is that allows you to represent the link between activators and targets. At the same time, and in simulation mode, I'll just show you a very quick preview of what that looks like here. I'll go, in, go into it more detail. Hit F10 to switch to simulation mode. And now when you shoot at this popper, you see that it activates the swingers. And the swingers will react just like any normal swinger would. Let's go back to editing mode. So this works for all the, act the physically activatable or active targets within the system. Things like steel targets, uh, Texas stars, Polish racks. Uh, you see a bunch of different types of swingers and bobbers here. Uh, you have uh, different types of movers. And, and there are a lot of stuff within the system that allows you to uh, activate and react to here as well. You can also build uh, daisy chain capability. So let me just bring in a door to show you. So I'll bring a door. The door is an activate activator and an activatable object as well. So what that means is you can have the door trigger an activatable object. So let's say for instance, open a door and it moves and it releases the swinger. You can do that as well. Or you can you can make the door an activatable target. Uh, so basically, let's say if you hit the steel and that steel opens the door. Okay, so you can do all kinds of daisy chaining here. So for instance, if I go with the activation mode and I say, okay, if I hit this popper, I want you to open this door. I link that. And also at the same time, if I open that door, I want you to activate that swinger. Oh, the other thing is, if you want to remove uh, the line between these two, all you have to do is just click on that and then hit delete. 
it will just delete all the connections between that uh, activator and activatable target. So let me just re-establish the link here from this to this and from this back to the swinger. Okay. So now as you can see, look at this chain. What this chain will do is when if you hit this the popper, the popper will activate this swinger on the left and you open the door. And opening the door will also trigger the swinger. But if you just open the door, then you will only activate this swinger. So let's take a look at that in simulation mode. Go back to F10 here. So now if I shoot the popper, it opens the door and op the act of opening the door will activate the swinger. Okay. So hit delete to reset. So now if I just go over and push the door open, you see it only activates the swinger and the popper is still up. So you can create all kinds of cool daisy chain capabilities here within uh, your activation uh, mode. So that's activated.